How you doing, YouTube? Matt Mass Beer Reviews back with a little bit of Treehouse up in this piece in the form of their Force of Will. This be a Treehouse Double IPA coming at 8.5% alcohol by volume. I'm not going to read the back of this. We're just going to dive right in. Yeah, because they give tasty notes. I'd rather skip them. Maybe we'll read them a little bit later. Um, this can comes courtesy of my boy Mike. New Jersey Mike. He um, we did a couple beer handoffs over the past couple months. This one was this past weekend. Uh, Label-wise, you know me. I'm a sucker for uh, gold on black or black on gold, whichever way you want to put it. So I dig um, the can design. Just something about it. It's such a departure from what Treehouse does. Um, that just kind of jumps out to you to begin with. And then, you know, black on gold, baby. Never lose. That looks like a big old hazy. And next finger, um, somewhere between white and khaki colored head. Infinite creaminess, super tight, compact bubbles. And it's got a density to it, a little bit of kind of yeast particulate floating around in there. So, yeah. It looks like an old school hazy with a little bit of new school. Let's see what the nose has. There's this cool, like, what is it? What is it? It's green. It's it's a green portion. It's got that. It's got that like piney kind of green going on. But if the pineness had a baby with mentholiptus, I guess they call that spearmint. Um, yeah, it's got that slight like eucalyptusy kind of minty thing with a little bit of sweetened and not overly resinous kind of pineyness to it. There's this orange kind of orange. It's not a straight real orange, but it's got this kind of added kind of sweetness kind of orange. It's not necessarily as sweet as a hard rock candy kind of orange, but it's it's not like tang or orangina or something like that. So it's a little bit more elevated, sweeter kind of orange with that little bit of that kind of slightly minty kind of piney without being resinous kind of thing going on. I dig. Let's dive in. Cheers. That's pretty cool. I dig that. It tastes exactly like it smells, which is really bizarre. The only thing that really comes jumps out at me, uh, outside of like the mouthfeel and things that you wouldn't really get off the nose, even though I smell mouthfeel every now and then because I'm an asshole like that, um, is this kind of like it's almost like a a creamsicle vibe to it. Yeah, like a cream, creamy, kind of heavily oated, not lactose, kind of cream sickle kind of thing going on there. So you get that orange thing. It definitely gets a little bit more organic orange in the taste that it does off the nose. Once you start to lean into that little bit of heavy oating, it gives you a little bit of a kind of extra dollop of creme, kind of like an adult dessert with a little bit of dollop of creme on it kind of thing. That green minty thing is more a nose uh, thing than an actual tasting because it really does come off kind of a generic weedy green, but not in a negative way. It's quite nice in the actual taste. There's a really sharp kind of piece of bittering halfway through uh, um, a taste. Um, I, I attribute that to a little bit of carbonic acid, just kind of that seems to be the MO with Treehouse as of late, so it might be just that, but it's, it's so minimal um, compared to everything else. It's not like dampening the beer or anything like that. I like this. It's very not treehousey beer. Let's put it that way. Yeah, I like it. It's fun. Let's read the notes now. Uh, tropical blend of American hops. Yeah, hyper focused, important circumstances, mouthfeel, body, hop density. Yeah, doesn't really. Okay, here we go. Peach nectar, mango puree, and pineapple juice grace the palate. Carried by supple and mouthfeel and hopeful, whatever. So, yeah, that's what I get. Not that, what I say. Um, so, yeah, it's got that kind of cool orange thing. Comes off slightly kind of an ele elevated sweet kind of orange in the nose. That kind of rides in this kind of more organic orange with a dollop of creme on top of it. That green on the nose has a bit of mintiness that kind of eschews the actual taste and ends up being more of a traditional kind of hot pellet kind of greenness, but not like a burn or anything like that. This really nice mouthfeel sands a slight prickly little bittering thing that I believe is coming from from some carbonic acid, actually, in the beer itself. Done and done. I like this. I think it's fun. And like I said, probably the biggest takeaway from this beer for me is that it's just 
not really all that treehousey. Um, not that I'm like a, a treehouse aficionado and I drink them constantly. Um, almost 90% of the treehouse I've ever reviewed has come from, you know, uh, viewers or friends and stuff like that. So it's more of a brewery that I get beers from rather than me going out and getting them. So there's a lot more people well versed in their beer style. A lot of people get this classic kind of bubblegum phenolic off of it, bubblegum tasting off of it. I've never really gotten a ton of that. Not that it's not there, but I never got it like a as a major talking point in a lot of their beers. So there's a lot of varying kind of um, uh, experiences with Treehouse, but I feel like I get my sh fair share enough to where I can taste the beer and go, okay, that's very much like Treehouse. And this isn't. Now, the last couple of beers I've done from these guys, I think were mystery beers uh, from my boy Steve. And um, I said they were really not, I actually went as far to say before I wrapped them, I go, this is not a treehouse beer. Um, they were very much not treehouse, but in a kind of negative way. This is very much not like a treehouse, but a kind of positive way, if that makes any sense. Let's talk about it. It's one of the better double IPAs I've had as of late. It's worthy of the conversation. It's not king shit of Mount Fuck Mountain, but at the same time, I dig it. Vagging availability, eh, I don't know. It's treehouse, what, four or five bucks a can, I'm assuming at this point. And brewery only and leave you with, if you like what we like this, if you like that kind of combination, it's not necessarily that you're like Treehouse, you like this, um, but if you like that kind of way that orange kind of spins, that little dollop of that kind of a little bit of creamsicle thing kind of going on with that cool minty nose, which I wish followed through in the taste, but it's there in the nose, so kudos to that. Yeah, if you dig those kind of tastes, man, then you'll dig this. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers. If you want to check me out in the social media stuff. Beer Massive. If you want to check me out in the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little treehouse right now. Hope we'll see you next time. Cheers.